I'm Samuel Mwangi. I had the Department of Health Promotion and Community Health, which falls under the Faculty of Public Health. In this department, we have got six programs. We've got a certificate program, an upgrading program, two diplomas, and two higher diploma programs. We offer a certificate in community health, which is a two-year program. And upon graduation, these students work with county governments, they work with the national government. They also work with NGOs as community health assistants, where they engage in preventive, promotive, and basic curative services in the community just to see to it that health is brought nearer to the people and thus adding impetus to a universal health coverage. So upon completion, when our students have graduated with that certificate in community health, for purposes of career progression, we do offer an upgrading program in community health where they come back for another two years. And upon successful completion, they graduate with a diploma in community health. Now these students uh, are employed by the government and county governments. Now, when they are employed at that level, they are called assistant community health officers and they also engage in preventive, promotive and basic curative services at the community level. So we do offer a diploma in community health and in this diploma we target fresh entrants from high school and uh, we teach them on a face-to-face -face basis for three years. Upon graduation, these students are presented with a diploma in community health, and they are employed by county governments, the national government, the private sector, including NGOs, and they also have got the ability to form community-based organization and source for funds, where now they are able now to help their communities achieve their health aspirations. So we do have two higher diplomas in the Department of Health Promotion and Community Health. The first higher diploma is a higher diploma in health education and promotion. Now, for this higher diploma, we target uh, graduates of all health diplomas. So we've got nurses, uh, nutritionists, health promoters, and even uh, pharmacists who are willing to become health promoters applying for this particular higher diploma. We teach them uh, for one year on a blended basis. We, we've got the e-learning part and uh, the face-to-face -face part. And upon graduation, they are employed as health promotion officers at that level. And most of them uh, end up as uh, county focal persons for health promotion they also have got an opportunity to, to work abroad with the certificate that we offer. The second higher diploma that we offer in the Department of Health Promotion and Community Health is a higher diploma in community health and HIV AIDS care. Now, this is a higher diploma that is open to all cadres. We, uh, we target people with health-related diplomas. So they come here, we teach them for one year uh, and upon graduation we present them with a certificate in, uh, in, in community health and HIV care at higher diploma level and uh, they work as specialists uh, in HIV care. They also offer guidance at that level in community health services where they offer preventive, promotive and curative services at the community level. Now at that level, that officer is also able to source for funds uh, through mobilization of funds, and uh, they are also able to, to register uh, NGOs and therefore help any community that be to uh, achieve their health aspirations. Yes, health promotion and community health courses are very important in the sense that no one aspires to be hospitalized. No one aspires to visit the hospital for medical assistance. People are victim of circumstances and that is why they, they visit hospitals. Now as a health promoter or as a community health officer, you work towards preventing those diseases from, from starting in any given body. 
you also have got the opportunity to educate people on how to remain healthy. And therefore, by doing so, you improve the health of populations. And the net effect is that we, we will have a healthy population and we will decongest the hospitals. And uh, money that could have been used in medication could now be channeled elsewhere. Prevention is better than cure. In the Department of Health Promotion and Community Health, we offer courses aimed at prevention of diseases and promoting health so that we can have a healthy citizenry and a healthy nation. For application to any of our courses in the Department of Health Promotion and Community Health, you just need to visit our website and all our courses will be displayed there. Just select the course that you qualify for and that is it. My name is Umi Gabo. I'm a student at Kenya Medical Training College, Nairobi campus. I'm pursuing Diploma in Health Promotion. Thank you. After graduating from this program, I'll become a health promotion officer. I'll be educating people on how to control their own health in terms of living a healthy life. My learning experience has been nice. I've gotten to get many skills. Uh, Kenya Medical Training College offers orienting skills in pursuing medical training courses. And uh, as Kenya Medical Training College is a model institution for training and development of health competent professionals. So I've gained many skills in promoting health as well as educating people on the ways of improving their health. I would recommend KMTC to someone because as you know, most of the health organization and most of the health workers professionals have undergone their training courses in Kenya Medical Training College. So 80% to 85% of the professional workers of health have undertaken their course in health in KMTC. So I'll recommend someone to study in KMTC because it is a model institution for development and training of health professionals. If you're out there and you want to pursue a medical course, especially health promotion, you visit our website and apply.